Hey everyone, it's Jack Fuki again. I'm back with another episode of my 1500 scale airliner reviews. And today we're going to be looking at a new release uh, from Herpa. This one is the Continental Airlines Boeing 737 130. This is Herpa catalog number 523981. And this is a 2013 limited production. And they're only supposed to be making about 900 of these comes in the 1980s red meatball colors the registration is N20205 and it is powered by two JT8D-7A engines comes in the new Herpa box I guess they're trying to get a little bit more of a uniformed look to their products um, there is the back yesterday series limited edition they don't tell you what number this one is but like I said there, there's only 900 of them being made so but there it is see they've already done the Boeing experimental version of the plane and then they've done the Lufthansa version of the plane so this is the third 737-100 they've, they've made I don't know who, what else they're going to be coming out with, but uh, there's a shot of the red meatball on the tail. It doesn't look like a meatball to me, but well, I guess that's what they think it looks like. I think this might even be like one of the very few uh, continental planes in this scale that, that has this livery on it. I think there is a DC-10 out there. I just haven't gotten it. Um, but this one is pretty cool. You see a lot of these out there at, well maybe not a lot, because they didn't make that many 100 models, but um, I did used to see like the 737-200s and so forth. I guess they were 200s uh, out at Intercontinental Airport here in Houston, and it's now George Bush Intercontinental Airport and um, of course this was the home of Continental so we had a lot of these planes out there uh oh look at that you see that there was a bug it just flew right and just ran right behind the plane there it goes it's a gnat get out of here try and do a damn review Anyway, there is the bottom. Of course, it has cargo doors on there. Let's zoom in a little bit. And there we go. Do a little closer look at that tail. Of course, it's not not really focusing, is it? I said a better camera would probably help but anyway but yeah I'm, I'm glad that they did come out with this model um, they don't do too many of them in, in this livery like I said I think that DC-10 that I mentioned I think Sky 500 or Aero Classics makes it but um, yeah, it's very rare that they even do these but that should do it right there um, Nothing much else to say about this one. Um, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright, later.